Oh, this actually looks like kind of good. Oh lord. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. This is a disaster. This is actually turning out like pretty good. Here's my really bad stencil. Hey, TCNJ. Hey, MTV. Hi, I'm Marissa. I'm Stephanie. Today, I will be carving an alien pumpkin. Welcome to my pumpkin carving crib. I'll be carving my pumpkin. I drew. I haven't carved a pumpkin in many years. I haven't carved a pumpkin in like, I don't know how many years. I really don't expect this to end well. I honestly don't know how this is going to turn out. Oh God, this is gonna be worse than I thought. Because I'm weak. First step is to get the goop out. The first thing you gotta do is to autopsy the profanity out of the pumpkin. I remember anything about carving pumpkins so that this part sucks and that it's really tedious. Do you think pumpkin spice is overrated? The answer is no. Yes. If you think it's overrated, then obviously you don't like fall. But do I like pumpkin spice? Yes. Am I upset that I like it as much as I do? No. Am I embarrassed? Yes. I think that there's a spectrum of acceptable and unacceptable pumpkin spice products. On the good end, you have Little Debbie pumpkin delights. And then it's like pumpkin spice lattes are good. And then once you get to like pumpkin flavored candy and Oreos and Pringles, if that's a thing, which it probably is. It's getting questionable. Beyond that, you have like pumpkin spice toothpaste. And I think that's just, I think that's sin. If you're into that stuff, I think you really need to reevaluate your life. Do you believe in werewolves or monkey men? This question was asked by Ferris. I don't know what monkey men are. I was in the e-board meeting where he, he explained what monkey men are. And I still don't really, I still don't really know what they are. Yes. Dog men, monkey men, lizard men, frog men, guinea pig men. They're out there. What was my best Halloween costume? Oh my. I used to be obsessed with Minecraft and I was a creeper for Halloween. My mom made a whole costume for me and I will not show a picture of it because it it just like no um, I actually think my best Halloween costume is this year's. I am gonna be Mr. Peanut Butter and I'm matching with my friends. One of my friends is Bojack, another friend is Princess Carolyn, and I think my other friend is also Todd. I never had matching costumes with a squad before, so it feels nice to feel like I have friends. I don't think it was ever anything too crazy. I was a milkshake once. That's kind of weird. That was like blue from Blue's Clues. Isn't that nice? Now I'm all gooped. Which horror movie and or moment of a horror movie scarred you the most? Probably the movie Hush. The tunnel from uh, Willy Wonka. That thing was scary. The this girl is like deaf and like there's just like killer. How long do I think I'll last in a horror movie? Is this assuming that I'm not gonna do all the stupid stuff that people in horror movies do? Like they, like they open the closet door or they hear a weird sound and they actually go check on what it is. You don't do that. You don't go, hello? Hello? Who is that? You're gonna die. I feel like I'd be the annoying skeptical guy that keeps denying that the monster's real, even though you keep seeing it, and then it would just kill me. I might last pretty long considering the fact that if I ever hear a weird sound in my house when I'm home alone, I'm not, I'm not going to investigate. I'm gonna stay in my bed, and eventually the ghost or demon will just be like, All right. Mm, yeah, she's not coming, boys. Do I have any paranormal experiences? Yes. The first one ever was after my great-grandma passed away. We had like these little rocking chairs and we would like wind them up and we were cleaning out like her bedroom. All of a sudden, like we were like talking about her and like it just started playing and like rocking and like you can't, you, it, it won't go unless you wind up the thing and it just started randomly playing. So one time I was watching my girlfriend's house and it's like a very old house, about 200 years old and several people have reported seeing ghosts in the past including my girlfriend. One night, after I put the dogs to sleep, I head upstairs. As I get to the top of the staircase, at the end of the hallway, I very clearly hear a woman speaking. So clearly that all of the hair on my body stood up. So I'm a baby. I ran downstairs. I turned all the lights on, but eventually I did the dumb horror movie thing and I went back upstairs. Is this assuming that I'm not gonna do all the stupid stuff that people in horror movies do? Only to find that it was an Amazon Alexa. Oh my gosh, my pumpkin is actually so cute. Oh, you're so so ugly. I knew it was gonna be bad. I just didn't think it was gonna be this bad. Scariest ghost story I've ever heard. I encourage all of you to Google man door hand hook car door. They're really scary. Yeah. This is one YouTuber, Kyla, who shared her paranormal experiences on YouTube. And this is her story. She was in her old apartment taking a shower and it's the shower with like the curtain. So you open and close a curtain and she was in the shower. And what happened was, okay, so picture someone on the outside of the shower and then they take one of their hands and they run their hands along the shower curtain. And that's what she saw. She saw her shower curtains moving as if someone was running their hands along it. What was that? She obviously looked out and no one was there. And uh, that still freaks me out to this day. Let's see. Well, that's not good. That's not good one bit. Ta-da! 
Ta-da! So there you have it. That is my ugly jack-o'-lantern. I'm so proud of myself. I'm never doing this ever again. I'm sorry that you have to look at this. All right, I got a candle here and a lighter. I actually don't know if this is gonna work. 